The word shalom has four meanings. Shalom means hello. It means goodbye. It means peace. But it also is a name of God. Shalom is a name of the Kaddish Baruch Hu. In this week's parsha, parsha by Yaakov Akudai, we read about the Mishkan that was dedicated to allow God to dwell with Shachanti B'Silcham in this world. And what's fascinating is that if you look at the Haftar for Bakude, it talks about Shlomo Amelech, King Solomon. He was going to be the one to build the base of Mikdash, which of course mirrors the Mishkan, which is built in our Parsha. But Shlomo Amelech's father, David Amelech, his whole mission, his whole dream was to build the temple, the base of Mikdash. But God said, no, can't be David Amelech because you fought too many wars. But you can say, wait, David Amelech fought wars, but they were for a mitzvah, they were, they were, they were a positive commandment. A Mechamas mitzvah, a war that was positive, means he was trying to defend the Jewish people, he was trying to make sure that there would be less casualties, he was trying to do the right thing in those wars. And nonetheless, God says, you can't build the base of Mikdash because your hands, they have blood on them. Rather, it's going to be your son Shlomo HaMelech, Shlomo, coming from the word Shalom, peace. For King Solomon, Shlomo Melech, he never fought one war in his entire lifetime. See, when we think of the word Shalom, that actually is a very important concept when it comes to the base of Mikdash in general. We know in Parshish Yitro, when it came to the stone altar, they weren't, it wasn't allowed to be hewn. It wasn't allowed to be cut with a knife or a sword because those are implements of war. But rather, no implements of war could be used in the base of Mikdash. And we know that in our prayers, we constantly are mentioning the word Shalom. At the end of Shon Asri, we use the word Shalom. When the Kohen, when the Kohen duchens, when the Kohen blesses Bnei Yisrael, they end their prayer with Shalom, with peace. When we say Birchas HaMazam, the grace after meals, after we eat, we, the last word we say is Shalom, peace. Because we say that God, He creates everything and God creates peace. Osa Shalom, Uvore Es Hako that God creates peace and He creates everything, but the only way you can appreciate everything is if they're peace. And when you say Shalom Aleichem, when you say peace upon you, you're also saying, may God be with you, because Shalom is the name of God. And so in my concluding words, I'm gonna be able to say Shabbat Shalom, that you should have a very peaceful Shabbos, but also that experience of peace should bring godliness into, the, into your life. As we know, Shalom is the name of God. God should be with you in that sense of peace, and in that way, your house should be able to be a conduit for a Kaddish Baruch Hu to dwell. Good Shabbos.